Hello everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic with Old Blake Jarrus, our pure-blooded Sith Jedi Knight. So the last time, we saved a Republic transport ship known as the Esselus from the Empire who ambushed us on our way to Coruscant. And we also saved someone, well, Ambassador As Asara, who was working to convince Re Imperial Lined Worlds to join the Republic. So, yeah. And now we've arrived on Coruscant, safe and sound, with our dear buddy here, T701. So all we need to do is head to the customs terminal. And then after that we need to meet up with Master Orgus and Master Kawix, as well as her Padawan, Kira Carson. fellow Jedi Knight here, just waiting. Are you speaking from personal experience? So yeah, now we need to meet up with Master August Din. Okay, I've done a bit more light bulb thinking, and seeing as I haven't started it all yet, I'm gonna stick to the purple mission, because due to the double XP ending on, well, ending in a couple of days I thought I should at least stick to the purples to make sure I get to the right level I need to so you'll be seeing me go through all the purple missions maybe even the side flashpoints later on but yeah I'm not gonna like leave the purples hanging like I do on all my other characters. And here we are at the Senate Tower. Oh, nearly went AWOL. Don't know why I keep opening my map. I got a big map to the side of my screen. Old habits die hard, I guess. So I might need to exit out this cutscene because I know exactly the type of glitch that happens here. If, um, Tell me what's what? happening. Yep. You remember Master Kiwix and Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. There we go. Sometimes my escape button acts up. So, uh, there we go. Just fixed it because Kira didn't appear in that cutscene when we first showed up. Plus, I can do this. Always good to see a Jedi on Coruscant. Heard about your shuttle trip. Wish I'd been there. You the young Jedi Knight everyone's been waiting for? We should speak with your master. We heard of your troubles getting here. It's good you're safe. It seems like Kira and Kawix have heard about what happened on the Esselus. <laughs> Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix and Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra. And Dr. Eli Tarnas. We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary scale weapon 
without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Perfect enemy containment without casualties. You can't contain an enemy without casualties. How many lives are lost during a full-scale invasion? Our new weapon will end war as we know it. Regardless, you've allowed the planet prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Our people are pursuing every possible lead. With all due respect, old friend, don't you think it's time the Jedi got involved? Master Kiwix and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here finding those design files. Anything is better than talking to politicians. A Jedi after my own heart. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rhodian smuggler, staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. Nasty bunch of criminals. Why would alien gangsters rob a military storehouse? They must know what you're working on. Impossible. It must be a coincidence. The Guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. I really must go sit down. Excuse me. Agent, let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thief some quality time. When you find Vistus, contact me. The data files are top priority, but try to recover anything else that was stolen from us. Good luck. Oh dear. Seems like some weapon plans were stolen. By a roading smuggler? Yeah, th I'm sorry, something smells fishy. And it's not General Barsupra. But first, we gotta head to the Migrant Merchants Guild to secure those plans. As I said, the Migrant Merchants Guild is a criminal cartel that decided to make their home here. Now, you might be seen first on is a bit for worse for wear at this moment. Have a safe and pleasant stay. So that's because at this po well near this point in time an event has happened known as the sacking of Coruscant which is basically the Empire raided literally mounted a full on raid of Coruscant and actually succeeded. Which is why in the last part, Grand Moff Kilrin referred to him well. Grand Moff Kilrin is also referred to as the Butcher of Coruscant. As he was the Grand Moff off in charge of what the Empire did on Coruscant. So right now, basically anyone down on the lower levels is considered a refugee. Whether they're fleeing Imperial occupied territory, or they're refugees from what happened on Coruscant. 
A few Sith were involved in that situation. Let me just collect these. One notable Sith, though, is known as Darth Malgus. Who you might have seen in the trailers. I'm just collecting some things, don't worry. Let me move that, because that actually helps me save some time on building up my Valor from PvP. In fact, might as well start using it now. You'll see why once we get to the later stages of this game. Let me just give T7 some gifts. So yeah, we're just going to be heading forward right now. This is going to be a quick area to explore, so... I might slip in the next area in this part. Because that's when we'll come across our first planetary story arc for the Republic classes. But of course, first we need to get through the Micro Merchant Guild. So this every so, as I said, this is the Repu well, this is the Republic Capital World. If you're playing on the Republic side. This is where you will end up after completing your prologue world. Whether it be Typhon for the Jedi classes or Ordmantel for the tech classes. For the Imperial side, their equivalents to those three planets are for Force users, Korriban, the ancient homeworld of the Sith, and Hudder which is the hut which is the hut world <laughs> and that's what the tech class is as i said and then now the imperial capital world is drum and cuss all right we seem to have arrived at the well we seem to have arrived at where we need to be Gotta get all those bonus missions done for the XP. Oh, a moddable blaster. Useless to me, but that might come in handy for a future character. Well, let me see what it looks like. I'm more of a guy that likes looks rather than mods, so... I wish I could go up. Try shift. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. Uh, I mean, it looks alright. 
It is worth putting in my legacy boat as it is a moldable one. Yeah, I'll keep a hold of that. You might see that in a future with a future character. Conquest objectives, that's good. Especially when if you each conquest if you complete a conquest weekly, you can get some better gear out of it as well. Alright, so let's bust through the security door. And there's Fistus. Kapatonka, Chisa Bichawanki Chi Atochala. Alright, let's, let's beat up these turrets with my bare hands. <laughs> oh, this is one of those things which I actually find funny. Because I'm like, because I'm just, just, I'm just beating up some metal turrets with my bare hands. Because it didn't show my lightsaber throughout the entire combat. <laughs> so I literally looked like I was punching all the turrets down as well as Fistus. Introducing Fistus to my fist. Kino Hagwa Bontagu Chubalong Haku Kilia Umpasa Dobiska Wumpa Hoopa Agent Galen, I believe I've found our thief. Get the stolen design files and hurry back. We've had a major security breach. What's happened now, Agent? This holo channel isn't secure. I'll brief you at the Senate Tower. Galen out. Iliska Chanaga Ima Che Choran Chike Wajineko Iga Danoila Oka Kiza Speed Up Per Popa Ukle Yugo Chesko Pakurta Liska Taka Ya Oscar. Sorry about that, just felt something weird in my leg. Betray me, and you'll regret it. It's a blanky hey, chalanko, ima chechu. What she neko, iga danoila, oka kiza speed up per popa. Oh, wama wanka mituske, o wana tablota, wijawa. What would the guild do if they found out you work for Black Sun? Mumbe emboa. Leave now and never come back. Eniki Ukle Ugo Chesko Pakurta, Liska Taka Ya Oscar. Yeah, we decided to spare him reluctantly, but it's the Jedi way. Although I'm not acting very Jedi like. <laughs> So let's fast travel back to the Senate Tower. It should cost me about 5,000 credits, but I can afford it. <laughs> but of course, before we do anything, I want to head this way. For this, is where we'll pick up the planetary story arc for Coruscant. Senator, please comprehend. Repairing Coruscant's infrastructure is green obtuse. To form the red parallel, we require a black bisector. Oh, this is pointless. I can't understand a word you're saying. I use mistaken words and request patience. This will be clearer. The lower levels are alarming and filled with casualties. Active collaborators can solve problems. Oh, I give up. 
Do you have any idea what this ambassador droid is trying to say? Aren't ambassadors usually organic? This is an unusual situation. I'm Senator Oranda. This is Patike from the Gree Enclave. Before you ask, the Gree are remote people, isolationist. They help build Coruscant's original infrastructure. We asked for assistance with repairs, they sent the droids. What sort of infrastructure needs repairing? Power, water, and waste reprocessing. Things the world needs to survive. The war left a lot of Coruscant in bad shape. The Enclave bargains resources and offers reversal of Coruscant's yellow concave. We commit to White Vertex to achieve this. Gree droids seem to speak in Gree patterns, so this gibberish is what I've got to rebuild Coruscant with. I speak attentively in hopes of comprehension. The bargain encounters great challenges. My delegates suffer assault affecting the maintenance, fire, damage, and fear. Do you follow? There's something threatening stopping you from doing your job? That is an approximate understanding, yes. Your comprehension is high. Coruscant needs these repairs to continue functioning. Patike, you have to convince your delegates to brave these dangers. Impossible. My delegates require aid from one accustomed to fire, damage, and chaos. A black bisector, you see? This is dangerous work. Jedi work. Jedi? Ah. Even Gree comprehend this nature. Jedi are black bisector and red equilateral at once. I will compensate the black bisector with useful and valued items only available from the Enclave. My delegates will describe their black spheres for you. These are bold, courageous mission callings. Speak to them and learn. So, yeah. This story arc is just basically repairing most of Coruscant's main infrastructure because of what happened during the first, well, the last war between the Republic and the Empire, which resulted in what I what was described as the sacking of Coruscant. But anyway, let's talk to Namake first. Never going back. Never going back to Blue Nanagon. Now I am Yellow Concave. Injuries mark my chassis forever, and why? Ungrateful humans. How were you damaged? Fire, smoke, blades. The occupants of Level Below committed numerous assaults. My safe return was improbable, never going back. Coruscant's life waters are sluggish, stagnant. Tabake commanded me. Go to the Level Below, repair the broken hydro supply, make clean life waters flow. I crafted a solution to achieve Tabake's command. All was orange sphere until I arrived at the Level Below, then green perpendicular. Tell me exactly what happened to you. Your language is insufficient to describe my suffering, misery, wrongness, unprecedented perpendicularity, all too much. Tadakei failed to impart the lethal conflict enemies waiting on the level below, many weapons and offenders despising my arrival. I fled Black Sun with my crafted solution intact, but the repair progresses unresolved. Coruscant's life waters remain sluggish, stagnant, without repairs. The Hydra Supply must have my crafted solution. Can I take your crafted solution to the Hydra Supply? You offer yourself as a black bisector. That is a gratifying, unpredicted announcement. I pledge to provide items of Gree ingenuity in return. Take and apply my crafted solution to the hydro supply, but do not apply before deactivating nearby flow valves or pressure explosion death will result. Be alerted. Black Sun Green Perpendicular will provide onslaught. May you experience blue tangent and return intact. All right. So now we just picked up that mission, but we're going to hold off on that for now, as we need to speak to Agent Galen, because a security breach has just occurred. I don't know how something, you know, don't know how something like this could happen in a very highly secured building like the Senate Tower. But I guess we'll find out.
I got your files, but the thief transmitted a decrypted copy to Black Sun. Fran, run a full diagnostic. Find out what was in these files. We found our stolen military hardware. Good. We need it. While you were gone, kidnappers grabbed Dr. Tarnas. This is the most secure building on Coruscant. It's full of guards. Guards never stood a chance. Whoever the kidnappers are, they knew right where to hit us. Kira led a security team in pursuit, but the kidnappers split up during the chase. Hang on. Signal coming in. Agent Valen, I've got these creeps pinned down, but they won't surrender. Tell them how long I can hold them. She's in over her head. Have you informed Orgus and Kowix about this? They're in orbit with the Supreme Chancellor and our fleet commanders. Too far away to help. Kira's signal came from the spaceport. The kidnappers may try taking the doctor off-world. You need to stop the kidnappers before they escape with Dr. Tarnas. Hurry! Okay, so we got we gotta go fast because the kidnappers that taken Dr. Tarnas are at the spaceport. I would say speed is of the essence, but I don't see no timer. I have time to go and sell some stuff. So let's see if I can find a vendor when we leave the Senate Tower. There we go, I see a couple of vendors. Doesn't matter which one I use, I'm selling. Nice to see customers. Can I get you anything? I'm keeping that moddable weapon. I can't sell that. I'll sell this, this, this. Actually, no, I don't want to sell that. G give those back. That's currency that will also come in handy. And that's something I've been building up. I'm not going to get rid of anything like that. First legacy vault I'm coming around, I'll put those in. Anyway, let's, let's drive down to the spaceport. Hopefully we can actually save Dr. Tarnas. Alright, hang on. Let me get the mount back up. Driving on the inside of a building. Fun times. Oh! Oh, Blake has had a speeder crush. Oh no! The damage! It's non existent. All right, we should be in this. We should be in the area now. So let's come up on this cutscene. Just in time. These guys get points for courage, but we're a little outnumbered. There's more than a few trigger happy thugs in that docking bay. The kidnappers are threatening to kill Dr. Tarnas, but they might be bluffing. 
I'm not even sure they have him. Are they open to the possibility of surrender? Tried negotiating with a leader. He shot at me. Very rude. So, how do we handle this? I say we bust in their weapons drawn and see what happens. Give me a second to paint a target on my forehead. I borrowed a stealth field generator from Agent Galen's office. Makes me practically invisible. I can sneak in first, then when you attack, I'll take a few thugs by surprise. What do you think? That suits me just fine. Great. Now you see me, now you don't. I'll get into position and attack on your signal. Let's rescue as a doctor. Alright. So with the help of Invisible Kira Garson, we're going to rescue Dr. Tardis. So let's go and save the day. Oh, and the mouse is acting up. First things first, drop these. Okay, that completely missed. I definitely don't want to make things easy. Over here, here. We just gotta clear out these guys. We give us that sweet XP bonus mission. There we go. Take down this last guy. Let's now confront the leader and save Dr. Tarnis. Oh dear, here has been knocked out. Guess they don't want to make this too easy on us. But it was pretty easy regardless. Ugh, Jedi scum, I'll kill you someday. You sure killed my stealth field generator. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. Isn't teamwork grand? You handled yourself like a true Jedi, Kira. Wait, I need a hollow of that. I want to play it back for Master Kowix. No sign of Dr. Tarnas. Kind of puts a damper on things. We were the decoys. Now you'll never see your little doctor again. Is that so? Give me a minute with this guy. I'll make him talk. If nothing else, this will be entertaining. Thanks for the encouragement. Thing is, we don't need him to talk. Not when I can just read his mind. What? Stop that! Get out of my head! Get out! The doctor's in the Black Sun headquarters. Salar has him. Just leave me alone. Cheap thugs will believe anything. I can't read your mind, stupid. You... you tricked me! Smooth, Kira. Very smooth. Black Sun is a major crime syndicate. Whatever they want with Tarnas, we'd better save him quick. Me and my security detail will clean this up. Agent Galen will want to hear about this. Okay. So now we need to report back to the Senate Tower to tell Agent Galen what happened. So, another fast travel will do. Well, we're back at the Senate Tower. 
just like that. Don't know how they're gonna take the news that Black Sun, a criminal syndicate, has weapon plans that were designed for the Republic. Dr. Tarnas is the least of our worries, General. The stolen data files had details, not only on the planet prison, but every weapon prototype and research facility in existence. Our most powerful experimental weapons, and Black Sun has access to them. How could this happen? What does Black Sun stand to gain? They could make a fortune selling secrets to our enemies. We must act quickly to secure these other weapons. Where are they? Three off-world research facilities. Minimal defenses to give them a low profile. They're vulnerable. Master Kiewix and I will split up and protect two. And I'll take the third one. You get the fun part. Rescuing Dr. Tarnas and the copied data files from Black Sun. We'll be back in time for dinner. Kira will stay behind too. With Agent Galen leaving, her computer talents will be needed. She can be impulsive, but give her a chance. We'll make a good team. She's rough around the edges, but I like her. She struggles with emotional attachments, as many young Jedi do. Be mindful of that. We should go. May the Force be with us all. I'll escort you to your ships, my friends. Before I go, I'm putting all my resources at your disposal. There's a special tactical unit in Black Sun Territory. Experienced security officers who've been fighting those gangsters for months. Go to these coordinates. Talk to Sergeant Nidaljo. He can help you rescue Dr. Tarnas and get those copied data files. You've been of tremendous assistance. Thank you. It's been a privilege working with you. Don't underestimate the Black Sun gang. They enjoy killing, and they're good at it. Kira's on her way. I'll get her plugged into our security network before I leave. Good luck. All right. So our next stop will be the Black Sun headquarters. Well, first of all, we need to speak to Sergeant Nidalja. And the Black Sun territory is actually where we'll be also doing that green mission for the Coruscant story arc. So I believe this is where I'm actually going to call it for today. So I want to thank you all for joining me for this part of Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this brief adventure of Coruscant as there's still more to do. Need to uh, secure those weapon to secure those weapon plans that were stolen by the Black Sun gang. So be sure to leave a like or com and comment if you enjoyed the video, if you so choose. Subscribing also goes a long way to letting me know that you very much enjoy my content and want me to continue. I'll probably continue regardless, but I'm glad to know people would be looking forward to it. And I hope you stay and I hope you stay safe. Have a lovely day, afternoon and evening, and I'll see you all later.